Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Akanksha. Last week I posted a video talking about my skincare favorites and the products I highly, highly recommend and I love. So this week I was, you know, kind of thinking to do a regrets or products which didn't want work for me kind of video. But then I, I'm always on the internet searching for new products and they're like, I check ingredients. I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna buy this. Nah, I'm not gonna buy this because I thoroughly, thoroughly go through ingredients before I buy any product only if i'm okay with the ingredients which are there in the product then only I apply on my face and even sometimes even if the ingredients are really great sometimes few products end up not working uh, so it depends on like you know skin to skin that's very common so uh, i i'm always constantly on a hunt so like i thought i got this idea of doing an anti haul just a very 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 big disclaimer before you know getting into the products ki if you have these products and they work for you absolutely fine but these are something i would never purchase or never use because i'm very picky when it comes to ingredients and not a lot of things suit my face if they work for you completely fine and uh, just for you know knowledge i have combination leaning oily skin and acne prone and sensitive skin so yeah let's get into the video and see what i would not buy So the first product I have, actually the first two, like I have two products from Nykaa which I like don't like most of this Nykaa skincare I it doesn't like catch my eye or it doesn't seem like a very genuine product which would help my skin so I never really like you know showed so much interest in Nykaa skincare and uh, so the two products I have right here are the Go For Glow Peel Off Mask and the Rose Gold Oil. So Peel Off Mask not a big fan like no matter what type of Peel Off, peel off Mask I really don't like it and second one is the Rose Gold Oil. I'm a person little who's kind of away from facial oils because uh, there is a certain like that is that explanation is for a different time for oily skin i don't really like facial oils the main problem i have with nika is they don't disclose their complete ingredient list on their website so that kind of puts me off because i really really like to know ingredients they just have key ingredients and like even if they just have key ingredients and you don't have the entire list you don't know where the key ingredients are placed like if the key ingredients are on the last line of the ingredient list then like they wouldn't you know give any effect for your skin as well so you don't get to know the ingredient list unless you have the product in your hand which is not like you know ideal for me and i think that's kind of shady for a brand to do because normally when there are other brands like you know let's say maybelline mama earth like such brands and if you don't have the ingredient list on nika you can definitely go to their original website of the brand and you will definitely have the ingredient list with, with like of each and every product but nika is the main website for nika products and they don't have the ingredient list on their website so that puts me off so that's the reason i've never tried nika so two i think they do have a lot of fragrance in their products and three is uh, i think they mostly you know make products in a selling point like you know what would look appealing for the you know public like, public and uh, that sort and not so much into the ingredients according to my opinion that is for the Nykaa like I just have I just you know came across these two products recently so I'm just you know mentioning these two Nykaa does have uh, like good makeup products I have I love their highlighter I like their foundation I love their lipsticks but skincare Hmm, not so much the uh, second one is uh, from coco soul face scrub with virgin coconut oil <sighs> if you know me no me at all i hate coconut oil coconut oil is the worst facial oil like is worst oil period like it's really good for intake but uh, uh, it's highly highly comedogenic it's my worst nightmare so cocosol face scrub like not only this product they do have the entire range of coconut oil which i am like uh -uh, no. anybody who has acne should stay away from it anybody who don't have acne also should stay away from it because it might clog your pores and get your acne you never know people who can take coconut oil on their skin have the most resilient skin ever they're like blessed they just period just have good skin so that's the reason coconut oil is suiting for them or else like coconut oil is like really really comedogenic i would never apply it on my face and i would never ever recommend anybody to apply coconut oil on their face so recently i've been on a hunt for like a really good hyaluronic acid which is like available in india so i asked you guys uh, you know recommendation and a lot of you recommended it's skin so like i got curious about it and checked it and you know what it's like literally not even hyaluronic acid i don't know how what hydration it gives for your skin 
because uh, the hyaluronic acid like the sodium hyaluronate is literally below fragrance so so low on the list so i would not really call hyaluronic acid and if i am using hyaluronic acid or if i want a product which has hyaluronic acid i want it to be at least in like the first five ingredients of the product like i want it to be you know in a high con- concentration or i want to know how much hyaluronic acid is there in that and this is just like you know it's right below don't know how it would help hydrate my skin in any way hi guys so i'm in between editing and i was like you know trying to get screenshots of you know ingredients etc and what i found interesting about this serum is like when i see the ingredients of the serum on uh, nika's website it just says uh, three ingredients like hyaluronic acid some extract or gera so i went on online like on google and checked so like i got the certain ingredient list which i was talking about and one of the images even my followers sent i checked that and i cross checked it uh, but now when i'm going to like you know get a proper screenshot of uh, the product it again says that sodium hyaluronate on, on like the top like the second or third ingredient you check the reviews in that and you know there is like somebody saying that you know this is not hyaluronic acid so like it is really low on the list and everything of that sort uh but again if i check other websites again sodium hyaluronate is on top so i, I don't know what is going on here maybe like uh, they reformulated the product or, or something of that sort because like few people have the you know ingredient list where sodium hyaluronate is really really low and few people have it like really really high so i don't know what is going on here but i just like you know went with what i saw online previously and what my followers sent me a picture for so yeah just wanted to give you a heads up so the next one is l'oreal revital lift crystal um micro essence yes uh, this has been such a high product recently and uh, like i've even been contacted for the campaign but i didn't do it because i checked the ingredient list of the campaign and uh, guess what it contains alcohol and alcohol is one of the ingredients i kind of stay away from and even if i like you know have to ignore it it has to be like on like really low on the list like maybe like the last second line or the first like you know last line uh but this is literally the third ingredient of this is uh you know alcohol so i don't know how it would benefit me in any way and it does have you know perfume and fragrance quite like you know on the list l'oreal has amazing makeup but uh, i don't know its skin care never like you know caught my eye so much i used to use their clay masks you know a while back they were okay but they were not that great but they were like good products here and there so next i have two products from face shop and face shop is a brand which like okay okay 50% good 50% bad like the main problem i have with the brand is they are quite like you know they do have like a lot of fragrance in their skin care but they are really good products in face shop as well just need to be mindful of which you choose and pick so there are two products which like you know caught my eye recently what is the face shop jeju 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 i think that is how you pronounce jeju volcanic lava cleansing foam and the other one is the rice and ceramide moisturizing cream so um i've actually like you know had this opinion about the jeju volcan volca who uh volcanic lava cleansing from like a long time ago because i was searching for really good cleansers and uh, this is the one i would never ever ever pick so why i would not try this face wash is it has a lot of oils it has like orange oil lemon peel oil lavender oil like so many oils in a cleanser and i don't think that it's ideal for me like i don't really like so many oils i just want gentle cleanser like the one i told you uh, you know in my previous video like the simple cleanser the organic harvest cleanser so you know this is not for me and it does have like sls in it and it does have perfume again alcohol dinat like so you know these are kind of products which i would avoid so this face wash is not for me for the rice and ceramide moisturizer the thing is when you you know have an entire range of product i would like ha- like imagine or think that you know the ingredient which you are you know marketing for you know has to be high on the list so the rice and ceramide uh, cream has ceramide in like the last like literally what third second line it has ton of ingredients above it and the ceramide is right below it and uh, so i i don't know how that would benefit in any way it's just like would be a normal moisturizer with a tiny bit of ceramide here and there and uh, so like for, for me that was a problem ki you know like if i'm buying something for ceramide i need literally a lot of ceramides in it so this is like kind of a cheat for me because it has so low ceramides in it if you understand my point but face shop has really good products like the 
cleansing oil i mentioned before it does have one cleanser which i really like i forgot i'll mention like you know in the caption or anywhere that is really good to so that like you know pick and choose products here and there which you would like you know which would be ideal don't just blindly buy any products because somebody is telling it's good or somebody is claiming that this is there in that just see where you know the key ingredients that are telling lie in it if somebody is claiming to have like hyaluronic acid in their skin care then go and see where is the sodium hyaluronate in the entire list it's like in the bottom then there's no use because there's a little tiny amount of hyaluronic acid in it so next we have mama earth upta Uptan, Uptan, whatever face wash with turmeric and saffron for tan removal. So you guys know I really like Mama Earth. I love their moisturizer, the apple cider oil-free apple cider vinegar moisturizer. They do have a lot of amazing products. They do have really good ingredients in their uh, products. You know, it's one of the really good skincare brands in India. But uh, this is one face wash I would not use because it does have coconut oil in it. So again, coconut oil not my jam. There are a couple of products which are going to come also. Like the coconut oil is my issue. with it so this product not for me so then we have one more indian skin care brand which is uh, pure by priyanka and the, i have a problem with their sunscreen because like you know having coconut oil in, in the face wash or a scrub and then you try to wash off is like a different level and having coconut oil in a sunscreen is on a different level so i was really excited like for by the brand because i do enjoy you know that brand really well i like the honey uh, face wash but you know so i was trying actually I was hunting like for really good sunscreens these days so i heard that you know this sunscreen is good so i went to check the ingredient list and the second ingredient is coconut oil it just blew my mind because you know these are these are brands all like you know coming up all the indian skin care brands are really trying to make and you know good products with like great ingredients and you know they're being mindful of such things so i don't know why you like your sunscreen is already a very heavy thing and having coconut oil in it <laughs> not my jam like other ingredients of the sunscreen are quite like you know okay and good but the second ingredient is coconut oil so i would never ever apply that on my face whatsoever so then we have the famous body shop tea tree anti imperfection daily solution ah uh, if i could like you know earn a penny every time somebody ask if they can use this this is the product even i like you know heard a lot when i was trying to you know figure out something for my acne but I'm not going to say anything. Just let's look at the ingredient list ones, okay? The first ingredient is water. Very nice, a common ingredient to have. Most of the products have water. Second is alcohol denatured. Like literally denatured alcohol is the second ingredient, and like. people who suffer with acne usually have very compromised skin barrier and putting things like fragrance alcohol and all these things do like irritate it more than cause more acne that's the reason certain ingredients are told to be avoided because the skin barrier is already really compromised so things like alcohol make it very very worse and uh, i don't know how people like it like even if it like you know for time being it kind of maybe reduces your oil and you know helps you get rid of acne in some way because it kind of dries your acne i don't really think it will help you in a long run to you know help repair your skin barrier because unless your skin barrier is repaired like you are going to eventually break out again and again again and if people have dry skin and they suffer with acne and they want to go with this they just like die with dry skin because alcohol just brings down and dries down your face like too much so this product i would not recommend at all like I don't know if you if it works for you it works for you but so it does have like a lot of fragrant ingredients as well uh, like it literally tells on their website they have like lemonade citral citronel uh, blah 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 like it literally has like a whole list of fragrant ingredients i don't understand how that would help a acne prone skin person whose skin barrier is like already damaged and like you are adding more fragrance to it literally other than tea tree oil there's nothing good in this oil so next what we have next and last what we have is the enn slash or n slash overnight uh, acne treatment so they do have like really amazing products for hair but this product uh, uh, see first of all they claimed it to be for an acne treatment and the second ingredient on their list is coconut oil and the third and the fourth ingredient is like lavender oil so coconut oil extremely comedogenic lavender oil can be a little irritating few people consider it calm few people consider it irritant so you know there is a debate about you know lavender oil but yeah like 
maybe even if i'm trying to ignore lavender oil there's coconut oil in this which i would never use if the if they remove coconut oil out of the product i would definitely use it because it does have tamanu oil but tamanu oil is like really low on the list it's like the last ingredient in the list so if you don't know the one oil is quite good you know to get rid of the blemishes on your skin or anything of that sort but coconut oil not my jam again i try to kind of keep the video you know in the same league with the same ingredients ki why i would not buy certain products so that you know you do not be like extremely confusing for you so if you like this video and if you want me to do more such videos and like you know anti hauls and anything of that so then make sure you like the video so that i know that you know you want me to do more such videos and uh, yeah that's it for today's video if you liked it make sure you like share comment subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell so that you get notified every time i post will mean the world to me and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye.